Hey everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me here today for some creative worship. I'm going to be um, creating my May Project Grateful setup. So here is the card that is for the month of May. I will link these products. These are um, found in the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop and they're designed by Kelly Bangs Creative and uh, Larissa, who is Grateful Gal. So I'm going to cut this out. And then this is the May set. We've got the ephemera and I've already cut some of it up. So these are the May journal bits. So I've got them mixed up here. Lots of pages of goodie. This is more of the journal bits, more of the ephemera. So there's three different sets that you can get. This is more of the ephemera. This is the numbers. I did not print out all of the numbers. Um, you get several pages of just different designs of one, two, three, because the thought in Project Grateful is that every day you come up with three things that you are grateful for. So what I found worked really well for me is in my faith planner, if I set up my monthly spread and then write down one, two, three, the three things that I'm thankful for. So I'm going to follow that lead this month for the month of May. I went ahead and set up my monthly spread. And so I will write every day of May, I'll write the three things that I'm thankful for. And I will just keep in here. I will do my, um, intro spread, which has the card kind of like this and the Bible verse. And then if I feel like doing any kind of special journaling, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put us on fast forward and we'll get started. Okay. So I'm going to begin by distressing my edges and I am using the nougat color of gelatos. This is in the translucent set and I'm using a wet baby wipe to blend it in to smear it and rub it. However, this baby wipe was not quite wet enough, adding a little bit more of that color. And then I get a wetter baby wipe and you can see the difference in how it blends much better. I was trying to save one that I had used much earlier in the day, adding a little bit more color directly from the pigment stick onto my baby wipe and rubbing that in. But this is too dark for what I want. So now I'm going to come in with some white acrylic paint. White acrylic paint has steadily become one of my favorite fix-it tools. Um, I also love it just to add some, some texture and multimedia, mixed media effect. So I'm rubbing that white acrylic paint just around the edges to soften it and blend it. And I really like that. Now it does curl my pages. Especially now, I'm taking that um, gelato and I'm rubbing it onto some packaging and I wet that and pick it up with a paintbrush and splatter. Here I'm using a big fluffy brush. I wanted big spots for it. And I'm going to hit that with my heat tool for just a few seconds. I want to make sure it's good and dry. However, like I said, it curled my pages. So you can see now I've put some paper clips along the edges to help um, hold those and kind of get them back in place. Now what I did is I went ahead and cut out all the pieces that I wanted and I've kind of placed them where I think I want them to go and now the rest of this is just going to be basically um, adhering them into place. So I've, I'm using bits and pieces from the ephemera set, from the journal bits, and um, I think that's it. Actually, the numbers come from the numbers um, set. So there are three different sets that I'm using here. They are all coordinated for the month of May. And each month she releases a new set of sets. Okay, so over on this left, I am signifying that there are going to be three things that I'm grateful for. I'm using a combination of my tape runner and my Barely Art craft glue for these pieces that are small. I find that the Barely Art craft glue with this precision tip works really, really well. But that's also where my tweezers come in. 
because it helps to be able to pick up those pieces, hold them in place, not get glue all over my fingers. So I'm saving a little spot there where I'm going to stamp the word May. And now I'm taking this pocket and I'm destructuring it because I want deconstructing it, cut it apart, because I want to extend the um, pattern. I just love that pattern. And so I want it to go in the back behind this card. I'm taking my bone folder and just going across the line and then folding that. And I'm going to place that down. But I'm just trying to figure out how this is going to work so that I have the pattern behind it. And I don't really want that line. So I'm going to fold that piece down, the top part, so that it also will adhere down. Use my Barely Art Craft Glue and just a thin strip at the bottom. Going ahead and putting the pocket down. And now I'm going to figure out how this piece will work, where exactly I should place it. And I'm just going to stick it up there as high as it goes and still peeks out from the pocket. That way I have both of those, the front and the back with that pattern. Okay, now this particular piece that I cut out is a stamp, a postage stamp, but I really wanted to get the postage stamp look and I didn't want to fussy cut all around those tiny little half circles that are in there like a postage stamp. So I'm using, I think it's a 1 8th or a 1 16th hole punch. I'm just kind of chomping it off the edges. It's not precise, it's not perfect, but it gives it that postage stamp look. And I cut off a little word May from the actual title. And I did print one of those pockets in cardstock so I could use that for a tab punch. So I'm going to punch that out with my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. And now you just see I get little pieces, the labels from Project Grateful. And I wanted that to be up at the top with my month for May. So that's going to be kind of my cluster, my bookmark cluster. There we go. I'm going to stick that down. making sure that I don't have any adhesive that's exposed. But if I did, I would just use my EK Success powder tool. You could also use baby powder just to get rid of any sticky adhesive. You can see I use the, the liquid glue on those tiny little um, legs for this dresser, this armoire. Now I typed up on a tiny little piece of cardstock, a strip that has the date. No, that's not the date, that's the Bible verse. And the verse that I chose is 1 John 5, 4 and 5, because the whole theme of this month for gratitude, and that's what the devotional card is about, is how gratitude helps us overcome. So I went ahead and wrote that verse on my little card, and it says, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? So being a child of God allows us to have gratitude, and it allows us to overcome the sin, the, the discouragement, the sadness. Gratitude and a practice, a discipline, the spiritual discipline of gratitude and expressing gratefulness every single day helps us to overcome that discouragement, that anger, that defeat. And that is a gift that comes from the Holy Spirit. So um, this practice, this Project Grateful, is developing that spiritual discipline of gratefulness. Okay, so back on screen here, I am just gluing other parts down. You can see the little pin. I actually printed that on paper, so some of the edges got folded up, but the, my little trusty Barely Art craft glue with that precision tip is great for getting those little points down, those little tiny spots. I'm basically just adhering all of this. There's the other pin, and this time I'm conscientious about getting the points, those thin pieces. I do get a little bit of glue that comes out, so here's where I use my powder tool. 
to get rid of that stickiness. And now this stamp set is called In Stitches and it's from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. And I'll also come in with a smaller font stamp set called Mini Bold. I like this particular one, In Stitches. I thought it had kind of that uh, vintage -y look, feel, that vibe. And I could also add in color. So I'm gonna color that in with the Gelato. So I stamp that with my Versify and Onyx Black ink. Clean that off with my Stamp Chamois. And now I'm gonna stamp the word in. So it's gonna say, so grateful in May. Line up my pieces on my block, the little alpha, the little stamps, and then stamp that, put that away. And now here, I'm again, you saw me do this earlier. This time I'm going to use an aqua brush. You can also use just a thin paintbrush. Pick it up. This aqua brush already has water loaded into it, so it's a very handy, a handy dandy paintbrush. I'm using the same color, the nougat color, to color in these letters to spell the word May. And then I decide that I need to move this piece up a little bit just for balance. And when I do, I rip a little bit of it. But there's a fix for that. I thought I'd take some of that color from the um, aqua brush, but that was too wet. And then I thought I'd take my quick stick, but that was too dark. Quick stick just uh, picks up ink on like a little foam brush. So that's where washi tape comes in. So I use the same washi tape that I adhered the journaling card. And I'm just going to add that in, few in a few places around my page. Make a little tag with my tiny attacher and that washi tape so that you can pull that card up and down. I'm going to add some up to the tab up at the top right then a little bit underneath that ticket that says, I think it says, so grateful, or, oh, choose to be grateful. And then that's going to do it for this page. Thanks for joining me here today. If you have any comments or questions on this process or on these products, then leave them in the comment section. Here are some close-up shots. I will link all of the products that I've used so you can check them out for yourself. They are affiliate links, or some of them are, so thank you for that, but that's just a heads up. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.